All right, it's 9 a.m. I just set off on the South Kaibab Trail, going down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon and then back up at the same day. I chose the Kaibab Trail to go down because it's steeper and has less shade and wa there's no water on it. So I figure I would need shade and water on the hike out because it'll be warmer and I'll be tired or thirstier then, you know? So this steep trail, I'll just take quick, get to the bottom. No fuss, no muss. But it's actually really cold today. It's May 8th, but it snowed in Flagstaff last night, so I don't know what the temperature is. It's probably like 40-ish. It's freezing. So it's good hiking weather. Get my blood flowing. It's a beautiful day. I've been hiking for about an hour now and we're well into the canyon. This South Kaibab Trail that I'm on, I think it's about six miles from the top to the bottom. It should take about two hours total since you can keep up a pretty good pace while going downhill. Sorry, this is backlit. It's a really overcast day, but beautiful, beautiful. You can see the trail's in pretty good shape. Whoa! Ha ha ha. It is in pretty good shape. So I wasn't looking where I was going. But see that? It's like almost like little stairs. Okay, we're getting down towards the bottom here. You can see this. Uh, there, there's the mighty Colorado. And there's a bridge crossing it. And then the trail picks up again on the other side, so it's gonna keep on trucking. Yay, made it down to the river. Now I gotta go through this tunnel before crossing that bridge. Ooh. It's spooky and dark in here. Can't see much. Blasted through the sheer granite of the Grand Canyon. <gasps> Look up ahead, the bridge. Yay! And here below us is the fucking fabulous Colorado River. So beautiful, especially on this drizzly, rainy day. See over there, there's some rafters. It's pretty popular to just float down the river and see the Grand Canyon that way. But not for me. You know me, I'm hardcore. Alright, it's lunchtime. We finally made it to the Phantom Ranch. Okay, I think I lied earlier when I said it was two miles from that bridge because it didn't take very long. Less than a mile for sure, but now we're gonna go check out this awesome ranch where, like I said earlier, you can get a bunk or a cabin if you book two decades in advance. But ain't nobody got time for that, so I'm just gonna go in and have a drink. Okay, I had a couple of cups of coffee here in the ranch. Now it's time to start the hike back out. <laughs> that's okay. No, no, that's fine. So now, it's like, what time did I say it was? Like 2 o'clock? It's 2... I don't know. Well, it's around 2 o'clock and we're starting the long slog out. That was a nice little break in the Phantom Ranch. This is the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Headed along the trail on our way out. Just left Phantom Ranch. Sort of walking on this trail along Bright Angel Creek. But if you've ever wondered what it looks like at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, this is what you've been missing out on. It's beautiful. <laughs> Cross
crossing another bridge to get to the other side and go up the Bright Angel Trail back to the top. Goodbye, Grand Canyon. See you again next time. So the reason that I hiked down the South Kaibab but came up the Bright Angel is because South Kaibab is really steep. Well, you saw it earlier. There's no shade, there's no water. But on the Bright Angel Trail, but when I'm about halfway up at the halfway mark, there's this Indian Garden campground. It's got water, plenty of shade. You can kind of take a little nap, whatever, or even camp out if you want. So this is a much better trail for going uphill, if you feel me. Beautiful. So my plan is to just kind of take a little break, get some water, relax in the shade for a while, and then I got another like 4.6 miles to go back up to the top. And it gets a little bit steeper after this, I think. So I guess we'll find out. <laughs> See here, it says right on the sign that you're not supposed to try to hike from the rim to the river and back in one day because people die all the time trying to do it. And they get tired of hauling people's asses out. But guess what? If you just use common fucking sense and go on a nice temperate day like today, bring plenty of water, plenty of food, and you know your limits, I'm here to tell you it's perfectly doable. I've done it once before and I'm on my way to doing it again right now. Yay! I made it from the Indian Gardens to the three mile rest stop. This charming little stone cabin. I think there's drinking water here. Yeah, there sure is. It's a little rest area letting you know you have three more miles to go. All the way up there. But you know, three more miles, that ain't nothing, man. I got this pretty easy. I think there's a bathroom here too. Hey, it's luxurious. So I'm just gonna take a little chill in this rest area and then get back on the road. Oh. Just coming up on the mile and a half rest house, rest stop, whatever. <sighs> Which means I only have a mile and a half left to go. <laughs> it's a, about 5.30, almost 5.30. Which means I've been hiking on and off for eight and a half hours. I mean, I did chill at the bottom for at least an hour. But, pretty intense. But I still feel pretty good. <laughs> I'm indomitable. You don't get this name for nothing. <laughs> Yay, all right, woohoo, I made it to the top. I think it's about 6 p.m.-ish. Sunset, beautiful sunset going on. Oh, so amazing. I feel pretty good, man. I'm not as tired as I remember being last time I did this. So let's see, just to recap, I started at 9 a.m. It's about six now, so what is that? Nine hours. Hey, guess what? It's time for us. Steak. <laughs>